Welcome to Montana. We are back in our favorite of the lower 48 states. We will be here road tripping for the next month, bringing you along for the best eats, hikes, and a bunch of new attractions we have never even explored before. We hope you join us every single week for a brand new video because you don't want to miss what's coming. We are starting off our time here in Montana at the Pictograph Cave State Park. It's about a half a mile hike. We can go around and see a bunch of ancient pictographs and ruins and even old Native American tools. We are super excited. Wanted to let you guys know it is a state park, so it costs about $8 for non-residents. But that ticket will get you anywhere else in the state parks in Montana for the rest of the day. So I'm super excited. Maybe we'll hit up another state park on the way back. But let's go. We also want to mention that this state park is 20 minutes south of Billings, Montana. It's down a paved, windy road. It's a beautiful view. There's rolling mountains and rock formations, as well as this park is pet friendly. Just make sure your pet is on a leash and you pick up after them. But let's go see the three caves. This area where the state park is was actually home to hunters and gatherers of the Native American population way before we were ever here. So that's really awesome and why there's so much history in these caves. So we've made our first stop at a pictograph cave. There's actually three here in the state park, but these are kind of hard to find, but just know that at one point they found over 106 of them just in this cave alone. If we find some, we'll put them on here. So this park is getting a little busy, so we moved away, but we saw that those rifles that um, Molly kind of zoomed in on there, those were painted, they think around 200 years ago or so, probably when rifles were being first introduced to the area by Westerners or by the English settlers. But what's really crazy is I think millennia before had been other paintings and things like that. It's just mind blowing how much history is just on these walls. We are in cave number two of three of the day. This one you can walk right up to the walls, which is super awesome. This cave does not have the pictographs, but artifacts like uh, what the Native Americans used to eat and cook with and um, use as tools, they were extracted from this. So this is where they lived, which is really awesome. We've made it to our third cave, Ghost Cave. So this is where the Crow Native American tribe thought that there was supernatural wonders writing on the walls. Even though they knew that they themselves and others would write on these walls, they believed others would do it as well. So this is kind of like the lore behind that. But I also wanted to share a fact that if you come here with a stuffy nose, be prepared to be out of breath 
all the time, because I am. <laughs> Now that the hot and sweaty part is over, now we get the easy time of going to the visitor center. And we're gonna check out a few of the over 30,000 artifacts they pulled from these caves when they came. So let's go check them out. The visitor center is a must. You actually, they say you should start there, but we did it opposite. That way you can see the actual pictographs that were once in the caves, but they are no longer there as you saw. But you can also see all of the artifacts or some of them between what they traded, what they used for hunting and gathering, as well as daily life. It is a really awesome place to visit. One last thing as well is as I was reading in there, they actually have a whole thing about the pictographs are going away. So like we said, you couldn't really see much when we were here compared to when they first found this place in like the 1930s even. So if you're interested in coming here, definitely come soon because these things are wearing away between dust, uh, between different kinds of environmental things, um, animals, as well as humans. People are coming here and vandalizing and whatnot. Don't do that, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool spot and this is a really cool place to come and observe history for thousands of years before this place was ever settled. And I definitely recommend getting here quick. That is going to do it for our time here at the Pictograph Cave State Park. We hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned until next week to watch our next Montana adventure. Until then, bye guys.